hey, good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, indeed it is. And here we are, already getting a phone call this morning. So we'll take it, so we'll see you guys in a few. pretty darn good I'm telling you it was very very dirty when I pulled in there to the fly J there trying to clean my window I really had to scrub hard to get these bugs off of there and now I don't know where it's coming from but it looks like we got a little bit of a drizzling going on right now but yeah anyways we're making our way towards our deliveries we got three deliveries and I have to send dispatch a uh, message this morning asking which one am I really supposed to deliver first at because yesterday I only received uh, two messages from dispatch with my deliveries info and I do have three drops though so that didn't make no sense and on my trip report it said one thing and on the, uh, on the manifest there for my load said another thing so I was a little confused on which one I was supposed to deliver first, so I had to send a message and now they clarified which one I'm supposed to deliver first, so we'll go ahead and do that then, but yeah. Here we are, just cruising right along. Got another half an hour to go and we'll be in Fargo, North Dakota. Yeah. That's right. But anyways, I uh, figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update on what we're up to. Since earlier I was going to start my show and right away first thing I got me a phone call. <laughs> Mind you, it wasn't exactly early morning anymore. I kind of drove late last night so had to sleep a little longer this morning so that's probably why. It was already quarter to nine when that happened so, so yeah. Here we are, just cruising right along. Today the North, uh, Minnesota scale is open again and they gave us the bypass lane. Yeah, they did. My camera didn't turn on on time to show you guys, but hey, that sometimes happens. Sometimes the Wi-Fi isn't working properly and then you gotta restart the camera or whatever and then it works again. But Anyways, we're using a Wi-Fi remote to turn on the cameras and turn them off and record and all that good stuff so we're hands-free. Yeah, beautiful sunshine here this morning and we're happy they just gave us the bypass lane so that means our weights are okay. They didn't even want to see us, that's right. That makes me happy, I can just continue on cruising along the highway here, right? But the wind has picked up a little bit. But hey, we're just cruising right along here. We had us a little bit of a storm come through there, Grand Forks there last night. All of a sudden I woke up and it was hailing. We got some ice hitting my truck. I'm like, what is that? You know? So I woke up and heard some uh, ice pieces of ice hitting my truck so that kind of wakes you up when especially when you're sleeping up on the top bunk you know but yeah sometimes you get a good night's sleep sometimes not so much but we still got a pretty good night's sleep that didn't uh, last luckily very long so we had a pretty good night's sleep though but anyways we got good sunshine today beautiful day nice and warm already 25 degrees Celsius so that's pretty warm so it looks like it's going to be a cold day I think Mr. JP Mallet from Calgary called me there earlier and he's saying he's wearing a jacket today he's saying it's very cold in Calgary right now so you bet that's going to come our way so probably in a couple of three four days that's going to be in our area so probably this next weekend we're going to have a cold weekend 
that's probably what's going to happen. Here we go guys, we're at the pilot truck stop and I uh, got requested the other day to show you guys a few trucks. Look at that, a cattle hauler over there. Got all kinds of different trucks over here, so I figured out. Uh, show you guys a few different trucks, right? Because you guys requested it. Or at least one person did anyways. But uh, yeah, we're going to go inside here and grab us a bite to eat and uh, take our half an hour mandatory break. Yeah, they got a subway over here at this place. So we're going to go grab us a subway sandwich to eat and then we'll get out of here. All right, guys, we got to fill up these uh, container here with windshield washer fluid. We've been trying to keep our windshield clean here. So uh, you guys can see out of the window, right? So here we go. Go ahead and fill her up. Starting to get a little low on uh, windshield washer fluid. My light come on too, so uh, filling her up right now. Here we go. And we can usually get just about two jugs of them in there when uh, when I'm empty. So got another jug sitting right there. So we're gonna go ahead and fill her up here. See, one is already empty. We'll go ahead and fill up the other one, and then we'll get out of here. Let's see how many we can actually fit in here, but I'm pretty sure we can get this other one almost all, all in here too, you know, so let's give that a try and see what happens, right? Not a lot of truck traffic up here, but let's take a look, guys. Yeah, let's see if we can get this one all the way in here as well, but I bet you we can just about get it in there, because usually I can fit just about two gallons of windshield washer fluid in here. And I've been using a lot of that. We had a lot of bugs last night, see? So, there we go, just filled up. You see, that's the overflow uh, there. Little tiny, tiny bit in there left, so that's it. That can usually get in there too, so. Yeah, that's it. Filled both, uh, both of these cans in there, so you can see it's empty. So there we go. We have had our time off over here at the Flying J now. We went and had us a bite to eat. Got some windshield washer fluid, as you guys saw. I hope the wind wasn't interfering with it too much. I know it's fairly windy out here today, so uh, it's kind of hard to keep that uh, wind noise out of the camera. And I know we do have that uh, microphone, but hey, sometimes that's a little bulky. And right now, I kind of looked at it yesterday and it looks like that my plug-in is broke and so i'm gonna have to get me a new plug-in for my microphone there before i can use it again so might just have to live without it in 500 feet turn as simple left as that 45, i guess and then turn right in 700 feet but yeah just as i was going to fill in some uh, windshield washer fluid there into the truck there's like a van that pulled up there be between the trucks there and he wanted to talk to me so all right whatever and so uh there's these two guys out there in the van trying to sell electronic stuff I wouldn't be surprised if they have that stolen somewhere or something like that or i mean it looked like brand new items they had a home theater system in there like speakers and now like a 32 inch smart TV. In 600 feet, trying to uh, ask a bunch of money out of me to try and get it, you know. And I said, nah, I don't think so. They don't really want to get involved in buying something stolen or something illegal or or whatever, you know. So I said, no, sorry, I can't do it. Well, we'll give you a good deal on it, blah, blah, blah. He's like, he showed me online, this is go, goes for 2,400 bucks. He said, I don't care. I don't need a good deal. I don't buy stolen stuff unless not knowing In a quarter that line, it is stolen the stuff. To the left by 94 East. You pretty much know if there's somebody trying to sell you something at a truck stop. Especially somebody just come in there with their personal vehicle that it's uh, most likely it's gonna be stolen stuff so nah, I'm not interested in doing that that's for sure in 700 feet take the entrance to the left on by 94 but anyways uh, 
I don't care. We'll get on down the road here and get towards our delivery places, right? We got a good ways to go yet. 460 miles to go yet. Come on, truck. You're going to get on here eventually. I'm like rushing it, trying to get onto the onto the road there, you know? <laughs> but yeah, here we are. Back towards I 94. I have now officially gone through Minneapolis. Yep. We are now on I 35 southbound and down. Well, looks like we got us another 275 more miles to go to our first delivery. And we just got us a uh, reload offer already. They want us to pick up a load tomorrow night and go to Windsor, Ontario to be there Friday sometime. So we'll see what we will be doing from there, but hey, that's the plan as of right now. Well, that's good though, that will keep us busy. At least we know what we're going to be doing from here and that will give us some decent miles. Well, that's pretty happy, that makes me happy, that makes me actually very happy. I'll get me some good miles at least. If you can't go to the Dallas Truck Show, then at least give me some good miles to run, right? Yeah. But we just saw a uh, flatbed truck, a black Volvo. I guess he lost control or something, and a uh, little bit, a few miles ago here, probably about half an hour ago. And uh, was on I-35 already on the southbound side, and he kind of veered off into the ditch and uh, went almost through the ditch. It was a bit of a wider ditch, quite a bit wider ditch up there, and looked like a little bit swampy up there. And uh, he went right into the ditch up there, and, and he pretty much uh, he ain't gonna get out of there by himself. I guarantee you that. He, I mean, he was laying all the way down. All the way to his flatbed in the ditch. Like, I mean, you couldn't even see the trailer wheels. Like, they were gone. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know what happened there. If he lost control or if he had a flat tire or what went down. But, yeah, he was... He was gone. That's right. But, anyways, at least we are happy got us a reload you know what we're doing it's going to be a crazy busy day tomorrow I'm trying to deliver all three deliveries there tomorrow but uh, that's all right I suppose I'll try and uh, work that in I guess but yeah that's what's going to happen from here when we deliver all of our loads we're supposed to pick up a load in Missouri somewhere. And only one pickup, one delivery, so that's good. Nice easy load, it's a fast load. So that way we don't have to fax anything to the border. And that why I got that question asked yesterday about the border crossing and that's something I forgot about. I forgot to mention that, that we do have fast loads too. And that way if we have a fast load, Penrith gives us a, a laminated sheet that's got par codes on them and it says what company they're for and if we hold for that particular company then all I got to do is hand them that lead sheet and uh, it's uh, like a fast load and I'm out of there you know they just scan that and I'm good to go generally you know but yeah that makes it a lot easier you don't have to wait for uh, your border crossing to get accepted and all that good stuff so so yeah, that's the way it goes. Them clouds up ahead of there, they look pretty wicked. We've been driving through some very heavy, heavy rain here for the last few minutes. First it got pretty darn windy and then it started raining pretty heavily. Whoa, there was some nice lightning over there to the right. And yeah, that looks like some nasty clouds up there, that's for sure. Hopefully we don't get a bad, bad wind like that would be very bad. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I figured I'd show you a little bit on what I see and it got pretty dark too so I turned on my lights in here. So you can see me a little bit better. 
But yeah, there's a pretty good lightning show going on, uh, going on over there, towards the right there. So uh, not looking too bright over there, that's for sure. But we'll get through it, I guess. Hopefully, anyways. Hopefully, safe and sound. That's the big plan, right? That's my plan, anyways, and we'll stick to that plan, right? Yeah, one Peter will just haul an ass right by me right now. Well, I don't know if haul an ass, but he's he's going pretty good. Yeah, we're just having an all-around pretty good day, I would say. Although we still have 200 more miles to go to our delivery, so uh, yeah, it's gonna. We gotta work hard out for us. That is a fact. And Ike Reddy said the other day, I say fact in pretty much every one of my videos, and I never realized that. <laughs> hey, maybe that's one of my signatures. Just like some people say, I say, oh yeah, in a different way than a lot of people would. So, oh yeah. <laughs> I like it but we all have our own way in saying things and doing things and every one of us has a different accent or whatever so uh, I hope you guys don't mind too much I enjoy making videos and as long as I can entertain you guys that's all that matters right here we go guys we're gonna go to this flying hook Ninth Street, up here by Dave Manoy. I'm gonna go see if we can find us some parking feet, up right here. Ninth Street, and then I know, RJ, I know. I'm gonna quit, quit you. I'm gonna meet you. I can see the place already. I wanna be able to get a few words in too. But yeah, I think we're gonna call it a day over here. And then we're gonna call it quits. Yeah, that's the plan anyways. We've got pretty good miles in already and starting to get a little darker, so... I don't really want to drive much further than this because uh, then I don't know what kind of place I'll be finding to park somewhere, right? So... This be one of my best places here, that's for sure. But I figure, well, may as well pull in over here then and... See if we can get a parking spot in here sure hope so and we'll just call it a day and continue on uh, with our journey tomorrow I think we only have about an hour and a half hour and a half to go after we leave here to our delivery place so man that looks pretty full in here though <laughs> yeah that sure looks like it oh this guy's gonna oh he very closely got it over <laughs> almost over the edge there but it said there was some spots left on the app, so let's go check it out and see if we can find us a spot somewhere. Looks pretty packed in here, but we'll go see if we can find us a spot or two. Apparently there is enough parking here for 350 trucks or something like that, so... Let's go find out if we actually manage to find some parking in here. Doesn't look like it. I don't know where. Unless I want to pay for parking. But yeah, let's go see if we can actually find us a parking spot somewhere. I doubt it, but we'll go see if we can find something in the back over there. So we have found us a spot. Yeah, right here in the back pretty much. And there's still some guys trying to back in over there. But yeah, we have an open spot right beside us over here. So uh, I'm hoping that ain't going to be too much of a problem here. So somebody's gonna try and back her in over here so that would be quite difficult to do I would imagine but hey somebody manages to do that hat off to them right but uh, yeah I really hope they ain't backing into my truck though that's uh, that's a big worry of mine yeah but hopefully we can stay safe here tonight I, uh, I'm done for today. I am just going to go ahead and go in the back there. Probably edit a few videos or at least one from yesterday. So, And then we'll try and upload that here to uh, YouTube because uh, we got Wi-Fi here at the Flying J. And it was pretty quick connecting to it too. So we'll see if we can actually get it uploaded here overnight. 
if I can get it rendered fast enough, right? But we do just want to take our 10 hours off over here and then we want to get out of here first thing in the morning. GPS says we got 89 miles to go. So that should take us about an hour and a half, hour and three quarters, I would say, because we're going to be driving some back roads tomorrow. So we got here quarter after seven. So that means uh, quarter after five, we can go on duty, do our pre-trip. I do want to fill up a little bit because I am a little bit low on fuel. I don't want to fill up all the way because Missouri fuel is a lot cheaper. So I'm going to fuel up a little bit over here tomorrow and then just enough so we can get into Missouri and then we'll fill her up over there because I looked it up there and it's about 20 cents a gallon cheaper over there so I figured yeah I may as well fuel up over there tomorrow right but anyways let's get us a good night's sleep appreciate you guys tuning in today you know what to do so good fat thumbs up if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button right here in the corner I would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button if you did we appreciate that thank you very much and we'll see you right here tomorrow morning we have daily videos coming up every day see ya it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come